what do you understand by requirement analysis? Okay, so requirement analysis is to define, analyze, validate and align stakeholders, right? So when we say requirement analysis, um, it is more of, see, mostly requirement analysis will be done at each and every phase, right? But as a tester, you are not absolutely accountable for the requirement analysis, but you should as a tester, test manager, test lead, you should actually know what a good requirement looks like right and based on that you then go ahead and see what all requirements are there what all user stories are there that have been defined by business analysts so that you can see where the gaps are right so the factors that you should be checking in requirement analysis are atomic that the requirement should be atomic uniquely identifiable it should be complete it should be having the acceptance criteria defined properly it should be consistent it should be unambiguous it should be traceable to the the main business requirement it should be prioritized that what is the priority of this particular requirement and should be testable okay so when you read through it you should be able to come up with the scenarios it should not say okay the response time should be good right what what do we mean by response time is good response time you can basically quantify right so if a requirement says or if there is a story which says response time is good that is not testable because you can't what you can't test it you if for you a good response time could be two seconds but for business they might be looking for response time as one second as a good response time right so that level of detail should be mentioned in the requirement if it is missing that is where you as a tester needs to go through and check the requirement and see that all the good requirements requirement attributes and factors are there in the requirement and during the requirement anal analysis this is what you or the other team members go through and check in each and every requirement that the right level of information and details are present in the requirement or not if not then you provide that feedback and things get changed or things get updated from the business analyst or whosoever is managing the requirement so in the requirement analysis you just analyze validate and ensure that all the stakeholders business analyst customer everyone based on this analysis are aligned and understand or have the same set of information that is defined in the requirement so that is what happens in requirement analysis it's more of analysis phase and in the analysis phase you check what should be what should a good requirement look like if there are any gaps you provide feedback and everyone is across it and everyone provides feedback in the requirement analysis so it could be the developer tester uh, solution architects right so everyone should be baseline to the same set of requirement and the details within the requirement